Here is the Manka Lad 3 in neutral white and cool white. So cool white in the black, neutral white in the green. Build quality on this is superb. I just love Manka products. They're just so high quality. There's, there's no sharp edges. Everything is just so. So lanyard, lanyard attachment hole on the, on the back. And you can just put that on your keys. So USB-C charging switch with battery status indicator it feels maybe metal not quite sure retaining ring around it yeah yeah just a nice size and weight for this two tir optics and yeah, you've got the luminous sst20 in 6500 kelvin and 4000 kelvin here yeah, so uh, high CRI of 90 and only 70 for this for the cool white So no optic. I mean no no glass over the optic on this one It puts out a really nice beam profile on it. So for the cool white the lumen spec is 1020 lumens with a range of 70 meters and the neutral white is 720 lumens with a range of 53 meters I measured uh, pretty pretty well on the mark with the lumens and I exce it exceeded the range in my measurements. So that's always very good to see. So from off, hold gets you to Moonlight 1 always and it puts you into like a Moonlight group. So hold cycles three th through the three Moonlight groups, so two, three and then back to one. Then one press from off yeah, gets you to your low, medium and high group with memory. So it will just yeah, come on whatever was your last level in this group and then double press turbo. One press from here will turn it off and another double press will get you back to your previous level. And then triple press, strobe, hold and you get like an SOS, hold again. You get a flasher mode. Uh, four presses from off, so lock out. Oh no, it's not four presses, it's hold from off. For five seconds. It's in lock out and then hold two seconds or unlock it. And then you've got five presses and a hold on the fifth press to get into like an engineering mode where you can configure every single level except turbo to any brightness that you like yeah just be very careful because there is no way to factory reset it so yeah five presses so one two three four five and hold ah <laughs> first ever to turn it on to the mode you want so one two three four five Just while it's flashing, it's one press to increase and two presses to decrease the brightness and then hold to lock it in. Yeah, so overall, yeah, build quality, UI, you know, for the most part, uh, beam profile, every, everything's pretty good for this light. But the negative for me are uh, just no glass over the optic to protect it. Uh, hold from hold for lockout I don't like at all because uh, it's too easy to unlock especially like five seconds to lock that's okay but then only two seconds to unlock it's just way too easy to do by accident you lean up against something and it's un going to unlock I like uh, brands that go for the four presses four presses to lock four presses to unlock and then when it's in lockout you can get like a momentary low and you can't do that in this and the four bright flashes when you un oh, when you lock it i just i hate that it should be like moonlight three or yeah just a very very low low level flash or even just a flashing on the on the switch oh, and also while you're in lockout if you do one press of the switch it gets like a, a locator uh breathing uh, led so it slowly dims and and brightens here. Yeah. So anyway, let me know what you guys think of this. But overall, I really enjoy it.